y'all and welcome to today's video. I am very excited because we are going to be playing with the new collection from Sigma Beauty. This is the new mod collection. This got delivered to me and I have been itching to play with it, create some looks. That's what we're going to do. This collection has a palette, brushes, a bag, a lip duo, I have been loving Sigma for so long. I'm so excited that they sent me this collection. This collection is dropping April 12th. I will link it down below for y'all, but we're going to play with it. Y'all know I love playing with makeup. We are going to create two looks. We're going to do one, I think, more glam, one a little more easy, effortless. We're just going to test it out. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel. We don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, new collections, we are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots and lots and lots of new videos every single week. I'm pretty sure this is going to be my seventh video this week. So I upload a lot. If that sounds good to you, please do subscribe. But I can't wait to talk about this makeup, so let's jump into it. Okay, I have this little sheet here with me. I'm so happy Sigma sent this so I can tell you kind of the details of things. But let's just start with what was most exciting to me. You know, I love eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow. And I do have an affiliate code with Sigma Beauty. If you use Heather Austin 10 at checkout, you can save. But I'll put some links down below. But again, this doesn't launch until April 12th. Now, the star of the show, in my opinion, is the new Mood palette. The packaging on this is so cool. So it's the same size that Sigma normally does. But it's like this crushed velvet packaging and it has this like like quilted type of look to it. I love it. Very luxe, very fancy. Then inside you do get the brush. You get the dual ended brush that comes in most Sigma palettes that I really enjoy. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful color story. So this is the new Mod palette. I am going to show you a close up of it. Before I dipped my fingers and brushes into this palette, you can see the nice close-up that has the Sigma emblem like printed in the pans. It looks so beautiful. And I'm also going to throw up some swatches for y'all because this is a really pretty color story. This is kind of a neutral and very leaning color story. There's one kind of shade in here that looks a bit like shifty kind of like a blue purple sparkly shade. I like that this palette goes very light to the very dark. I'm excited about that. So we're going to create two looks with this. The lip duo that I'm wearing now, let's see. The liquid lipstick is $20. The lip gloss is $20. So the liquid lipstick, I'm wearing this duo today. This is really, really, really pretty. This is only the second liquid lipstick I've ever bought or I've ever gotten from Sigma. This one was sent to me, but I bought the one in the Sigma Cinderella collection. And this one is a bit deeper than that. Very pretty. This gloss, very sparkly. Let's just swatch this together, shall we? So there is the lipstick. I mean, you can see it's on my lips, but swatches never hurt, do they? Now, this lip gloss is a very sparkly. I will say I'm not a fan of the brush tip applicator. For the Sigma Cinderella Duo, they had a doe foot applicator, and I prefer that much better, but there are the swatches. Very beautiful, and I have them both on my lips today. Also in this collection, let's see, there is a Modern Glam Brush Set for $94. So in the set, you get this beautiful bag. So this has a nice zipper, very deep, very pretty. I have purchased Sigma bags before and I really like the quality. You get several different brushes. I used this one for foundation. I'll say these are super pretty. You have this pink handle and then there's glitter down here. You can feel 
it's not glitter like it's definitely a texture change but it's not like the glitter is rubbing off so this I used today to apply my foundation this is the F47 multitasker this is an F10 powder blush brush with the same handle I used it to apply my blush today and then we have eye brushes that we're going to use in our eye looks that we're going to create so I think these are really nice we have the E49 medium tapered blending the E24 diffused blend and the E65 small angle the whole collection if you want to buy everything I just showed you it is $146 so again I'll leave a link to Sigma down below but if you're like me you want to see how everything performs I'm going to prime my eyes with my ignite primer I'm going to zoom y'all in and we are going to put these shadows on the eyes okay to start off I am going to grab that medium tapered blending brush from the set and we're going to go in to Vogue-ish, this really pretty, rich shade. And I'm going to kind of stamp that right out here in the outer. What is, is this like an outer C? I hear people call it a V, so it's like a sideways V. I don't know. Listen, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> This is what I'm doing. I'm just kind of stamping it out here. Not really winging it out, just blending it outwards like this, but not bringing it in too much. And I'm not worried about blending too much right now. So I'm just throwing the shadow down. I really like Sigma shadows. I think they perform so well. I've bought so many Sigma palettes. Maybe I should consider doing a ranking video, a Sigma ranking video. Ranking videos are just so fun. Like they're so stressful, but also so fun. So let me know if that's something that y'all want to see. If you're into rankings like I am. I just know if I'm looking for YouTube videos to watch and I see a ranking video, I'm like, click. <laughs> Tell me what's your favorite. This is just so pretty. I know it looks crazy right now. It's not that blended. I don't care. We're going to blend in a minute. I'm going to take the dual ended brush, just kind of wiping that off. And I'm going to go right in to edgy. I'm going to like triple tap in that. And then I'm going to triple tap into new mod. So I kind of have those shades mixed and we're going to put it right here. So back and forth where we didn't put anything there. I like mixing my shades, kind of creating a custom shade. And I'm just going to buff and blend, buff and blend, back and forth, back and forth. All right, then I'm kind of wiping the brush off and I'm just going to go in a tiny bit to that new mod shade and blend along the edge very lightly. You can see I'm holding the brush down low so I'm putting very very little pressure on my skin and just buffing these two shades together making sure I don't have any harsh lines okay now I'm going to go in with this shade right here this really rich sparkly purple type shade this is called artsy and I'm going to go in with that brush from the set that is called the diffused blend I like brushes like this for shimmers you can get some fallout with this type of brush when you use it for shimmer shades but I feel like it just disperses the shimmer and the sparkle so beautifully so I am going to spray my brush whatever makeup mist you have around is just fine okay so I am going to put that down all over the lid do you see that sparkle do you see it look at it that is so sparkly so beautiful wow i just love sparkle listen mattes are beautiful i love to blend a nice mat but it's the sparkles that always make me go wow okay now for my lower lash line i want to go in with the 
uh, small angle brush and I'm going to go right in here to this dark brown matte shade called Grunge and I'm going to put that right here on my lower lash line. So I'm just going to stamp it on and then I'm just going to kind of drag it across. With this type of brush and with keeping the shadow up, I don't want to do too much like blending back and forth. More like placing the brush and dragging. That's just how I like to do it. But I think this matte shade is so pretty. I promise for the second look, I will do something more neutral for y'all with the neutral shades but these purples wow they're so pretty okay now I'm gonna take the other end of that dual ended brush that comes with the palette and we're gonna go into avant-garde I like that see look at that purpley blue type of shade so beautiful it's like a lavender with a blue sparkle very pretty Oh, I just love it. That look wasn't very hard to create at all, was it? And it still looks so nice. Ooh, ooh, I'm into it. Okay, I'm just going back and forth with that blending brush and just blending a little bit more. I'm going to throw on some liner. I'm going to throw on some lashes. And then I will come back to show you the look. Alright y'all, this is the finished look. I'm sorry, it's allergy season here. I have been sneezing, but I'm done with this eye look. <laughs> I use my bedroom as lashes from Sigma. Oh, you can tell my sinuses are messing up. I'm so sorry, but I'm wearing my blush palette. I use the shade Pinkin, and then I'm wearing the Glow Kissed Highlighting Palette. Uh, which shade? This shade, I think. Aurora is the shade that I dipped into. So, this is look number one. And now we will jump in to look number two. Okay, we're going to jump into this look. I have my eye primer on. I have my Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer in the shade Persuade. All over my lids, I rely on eye primer with my deep set oily eyes. And we are going to be using the new Mood palette. So, so beautiful. This palette comes with one of the amazing Sigma dual ended brushes. Y'all see in my videos, I use these eyeshadow palette brushes all the time. I like them so, so much. So I'm going to take this end right here. This is the E38. And what I want to do first, whoops, <laughs> let me not blind y'all. Let me go in with Street Style. This brown shade right here okay I'm going to put this color all in my socket so right in here I'm just gonna go back and forth windshield wiper motions back and forth back and forth just like this and make sure I have that pigment down how I want it this shade is really, really pretty. I'm glad to see like how dark it is. I like that intensity a lot. Okay, I kind of wiped off any excess shadow I had on a paper towel here in front of me. And I'm taking the same brush and I want to go into this shade right up here called Sophisticated. This more light neutral brown shade. And I'm just going to buff along the edges of where we put down that deeper shade. So just kind of buffing and blending circular motions, back and forth motions, just kind of blending that shade out a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna flip that dual ended brush around. I'm going in this side right here. This is a E54 medium sweeper. And we're gonna go right into the shade Vintage. This shade looks so beautiful. It looks like it has all different kind of colors of shimmer in here. So I want to get this all over the lid. I'm going to pick it up on my brush and I'm going to spray my brush with any kind of makeup mist it will work. I just really, really like to wet my shimmers. All right, I'm going to look down into my mirror 
this palette it does come with a really nice mirror and I'm just going to pack this shimmer shade all on the lid and then I'm going to kind of go in and buff it up a little bit higher into that dark brown that we put down earlier, the shade Street Style. So I'm just kind of pressing it low on the lid and then buffing it up higher. Okay, I wiped off this side of the brush so we can use it again and I'm going to go right here to the shade Grunge and I am going to mix this shade with this shade right here called Edgy. So I'm just picking them both up on the brush because I want kind of a blend and I'm going to press this and blend this into the lower lash line. So I'm just going to work this back and forth, blending it and letting it come a bit low. Not super, super low, but I'm not trying to be precise. And I'll even connect it kind of out here so that the eye look is really blown out. But you can see how easy these shadows are working together, how easy they're going on and blending. And I mean, I'm just, like this whole look, I've just used this one brush that comes in the palette. Okay, once again, I've wiped off this part of the brush and I'm gonna mix the shade Preppy with Hot. And we're gonna put that right there in the inner corner so that it's not a matte inner corner, but it's definitely not gonna be as shimmery as if I just went in with this shade. So mixing them together is just gonna tone it down a little bit while still giving us that really pretty bright inner corner. Now I am going to skip false lashes for this look. I am just going to put on some black eyeliner. I'm going to put on a ton of mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes, finish off the rest of my face, and then I'll be back. Alright y'all, this is my finished look with the palette. I just put on some mascara and curled my lashes. I really like the way this eye look came out. I think it looks so, so nice. And I did use the blush brush. I really like how this has the glitter. Like, it's so pretty. I used the brush. This is a, what do you call yourself? Oh, it's kind of hard to see. It's a powder brush. I'll put, I'll link it down below for y'all. But I used it with my Sigma Disney Princess Cinderella blush and highlighter duo. That's what I have on my cheeks. And then I used the lip products from the set. So that's how I finished this look off. I would love to know. Would you wear a look like this? I really like it. It was super easy. I mean, the only brush we used is the brush that came with the palette. And I feel like this look came together like in just a couple of minutes. So I really, really enjoy it. Alright y'all, I really hope that you enjoyed both of these looks. I can't wait to play with this collection some more. I will give you a quick rundown of my thoughts. This palette, great. Same great Sigma quality. I really like the glam color story. I think it's so, so pretty. I, of course, like the brushes. I mean, what can I say about Sigma brushes? I have been buying Sigma products for years. I love their brushes. They hold up so, so well. I do have a Sigma playlist, so you can check it out if you're curious about any other Sigma products, but I love the handles on these brushes. I love the quality. I mean, you saw me put these all into action except the face brushes, which I did use off like not filming. The Lip Duo I really like. I like the liquid lipstick a lot. I don't love the brush applicator, but that may just be a me thing. So for me, of course the favorite is the eyeshadow palette because I love eyeshadow palettes. I can never have enough. I never get tired of them. I just love, love, love eyeshadow. I'm so happy I got to test out this collection. It was super fun. Again, new mod available April 12th. 2022 at sigmabeauty.com. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to know which look did you like best. This look or the more neutral look? Definitely let me know. I will see you very soon in another video. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. I hope you're having a super awesome, amazing day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!